<coughs> okay, just to clarify from my previous video that uh, <coughs> what I didn't make quite clear is that you have the charge time and the off time and on the off time like the cell the negative the collapse of the inductor draws electrons essentially back into the inductor and into the positive side so this tube here on the off time is doing electron extraction like in the cell now that's the cause of the the water breakdown and uh, the the gases it gives off gases and uh, right up to spark ignition but what uh, I wanted to just make clear is the electron extraction uh, the way Stan would have worked it he realized what was going on he's got a coated probe and he's got this uh, outer he's using this as a capacitor and when the coil collapses it wants to recharge and drags electrons in through the diode into the coil because the positive side is from the probe to the inductor and this side of the diode is positive so it runs through from earth <coughs> back to charge the coil and this is why you get an imbalance uh, so you're already having electron extraction in here I didn't make this clear this is what goes on in the cell this electron extraction but what uh, the extra stainless steel uh, electrode here, so you've got a probe, an electrode, an electrode. Now, funnily enough, it seems odd because this is a negative, and as the coil collapses, it wants to recharge. So this is causing extraction, this tube here. But also, this is a higher level, this is the gas gun, so it's a higher level of extraction. Okay, so this here is, goes to the positive, it runs through a resistor because the electrons he's trying to get rid of are negative. Now, it's hard to get this round your head to see the whole system, uh, what I'm proposing working because uh, on the on time there is a unipolar gap between the capacitor and the electrode and on the off time the collapsing field is extracting electrons from here and likewise uh, simply because of the collapse and the size of the inductor <coughs> electrons come pressure at well minus pressure has been applied to the capacitor plate which is the water uh, in this case the air and uh, so essentially this is the same as what I'm saying. This piece here is the same as what I'm saying in my previous videos. And this stainless steel uh, pickup is uh, a higher level of extraction. Now, that might sound hard for you to work out, but when uh, Stan worked out what he was doing, he used the two for the cell and for the, the, this same system for the for the spark plug. Now, using the collapsing field to pull the electrons out and give it a deficit, and uh, right up to spark ignition. But that is referring to just really the water. Now, what we're using here is we're using uh, different gases. And uh, as you know, he says that he took the noble gas, argon, and he ran this argon gas through here. So what he, the way I see this gas gun working properly is that when the off time happens, the level of extraction from here is the same level of extraction but, as we have in the cell, but it's acting upon a noble gas now. And the noble gas isn't a dielectric liquid. So he has to basically, he thought, how can I extract more electrons? And what really is a, a hard to get your head around to begin with is that he's extracting electrons through the negative 
on the off time, and similarly, he's extracting the net electrons through the positive. So that is hard for people to really get their head around. You have the probe, the electrode, the collapsing field. He extracts electrons in this area on the off time, getting sucked through the diode into the, into the inductors. And also, when the gas is basically uh, passed up through here, <clears throat> they're negative and they get attracted to the positive. So it's a falling field here and a positive attraction here. Now, just to make this clear, because it's not very clear in what I've said before. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, there's two paths of electron extraction. So this is a higher state of extraction that's going on here. And that's why he could not just pull apart water with this, he could pull apart water with this, but he realised that the electron extraction would work on other materials. But other materials, you're hitting into the atomic. Uh, you're not just pulling di dielectric uh, com uh, molecules apart. You're actually tapping into the atomic energies. So you have to have a huge level of extraction, which uh, leaves the gases desperate to find a stable state and they will then take on the iron particles. Just to clear that up because uh, it's hard enough to comprehend uh, this high-tech vision of how Stan, uh, this is the invention basically and then this is uh, a later stage. He uh, he worked on it, and uh, as time went on, he realised what he was doing. It was extracting electrons that was affecting the water. And uh, the electrons were extracted because of the coating and the capacitance of this single tube capacitor. And he went on to realise that you could actually start to tamper with, with matter rather than molecules. So he and have an extra layer of extraction and you know what the extraction does because of the previous videos and anything you've read about Stan. So this is a higher level of extraction uh, coming from here. So, uh, but, that's the, but don't get me wrong, you, you still, there are still three electrodes here. You, you, have, you have your negative, you have your positive coated, and you have your positive electron extraction. So electron extraction in, happens in two ways in the gas gun and electron bombardment on the on time with the energised LEDs and the capacitance of this single coated capacitor forming a unipolar zone that the particles of air and gases pass through. The off time happens, this field collapses, the coil draws in more electrons to keep it to sustain itself and the any other electrons that are passing through here, then they basically go down to positive and burn off, giving you a higher level of electron extraction that is powerful enough to mess around with like an argon gas rather than just a water molecule. Just to make that clear, because it's very hard to picture this whole system, but it is a complete system with a single tube capacitor. It makes much more sense. Uh, and there's no spark in the spark plug. It's the uh, electron extraction right up to spark ignition uh, because of the isolation of the water and uh, it's, it wants to go back to a neutral balance. Okay, just to make that clear. Thanks now, cheers.